Hi people, welcome back to the tutorial on how to hack Metasploitable 2. I'm very, very excited about this latest episode. I hope you are enjoying the tutorial as well. Today we're going to look at two ports at the same time, 1099 and 49104. The Java RMI appears to be the service running on them. A big heads up, what is it? The Java RMI remote method invocation is the Java API that performs remote method invocation between programs written in a Java programming language. RMI uses stub and skeleton object for communication with the remote object, while the stub is just a simple representation of the remote object at the client. It resides in the client system and it acts as a gateway for the client program. The skeleton, on the, on the other hand, is the object which resides on the server side. One of the goals of the remote method in the invocation is essentially to minimize the complexity of the application. As always, our methodology remains the same here, as we're going to use the Metasploit framework to take advantage of this service. First, we can confirm that Java RMI is indeed running on our port 1099, as you can see. With regard to the second port, 49104, it might turn out to be different from your scan. And the next thing you do is to make sure that you've got your PostgreSQL service up and running because that speeds up the module searches in, uh, in Metasploits. And then uh, you open a different tab and then you type in MSF console that should bring the shell. So now what we're going to do, we're going to search for um, the, the version of our, the Java that we, whether there's an exploit attached to it. So we can actually see that there's an exploit, um, it's quite a few, about 11 of them. But the one at the very bottom seems quite promising. And, uh, and the good news is also ranked as excellent. So why don't we use it? So, right. Okay, so what this module does, um, it takes advantage of the default configuration of the RMI registry and activation services, and that allow the loading classes from any remote URL, that means HTTP URL. It also invokes a method in the RMI distribute garbage collector. So um, let's find out what the options are in terms of configuration. Right, so there are default settings here. So the one that matters is um, the remote host, which we need to configure. That's fine, the remote port is set to the correct uh, number, so we shouldn't worry about that. The payload obviously is a meta printer, so we can just run it. Brilliant, so you can see that by, by running this exploit against the target system, um, I was able to exploit the vulnerability and get back a meta printer session. Uh, we're not quite sure what the, uh, the privileges are, so let's find out by typing the following commands. And indeed, we are at the highest level of privilege. So that's good news. You can also find out other information, such as this info. And uh, it confirms that it is, in, is in fact a metasploitable machine. So uh, my job is done. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Um, any question, do not hesitate to stick it in the comments. Um, this tutorial is complete. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.